What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with what tools you need to build your helicopters. So in this video, we're going to go over a wide variety of tools, tools that I think everybody should have. And we'll start and go through different cutoff wheels, calipers, wrenches, drivers, all that good stuff. So I am going to get all this off the table and we are going to start with the driver. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Remember, Patreon and PayPal in every video description. So the first thing we are going to start with on the tools is, of course, your drivers. You really need a wide variety of different drivers. Even oddball drivers like these 1.27 millimeter, 1.3 millimeter, of course, three millimeter drivers. This is another cheap three millimeter t-handle you can get a wide variety of different drivers but you need a variety also which is very important these mip or regular quick change bits one and a half two two and a half and three millimeter are your main use sizes as you can see i have my mip drivers now i personally recommend mip drivers these are hands down the best driver i have ever used they work great they don't break very strong drivers and you can get a wide variety from one and a half all the way up to three millimeter so definitely get yourself a variety of drivers now, on the topic of drivers this dewalt gyroscopic driver i highly highly recommend this you can put your quick change bits in here lock into place it is gyroscopic so you pull the trigger and as you rotate It'll go in the direction right, left, and the, the less you rotate, the slower it goes. The more you rotate, the faster it goes. And it has an adjustable chuck, so you can set how tight you want the screw, get the first few threads started by hand, run it down till it stops, and then you can manually finish. And then when you want to change bits, you just go ahead, slap a new bit in. You need to change bits, go ahead and slap a new bit in. So I highly recommend this to help your building and repairing skills speed it up. Now, the next thing I recommend you guys get is yourself one of these little wrench sets from four millimeter to 11 millimeter and from 530 seconds to 716. This is an awesome little set of wrenches. Any little nut that you need to get to, it fits into, they work great relatively inexpensive on amazon it is an awesome little set duratech and then also one of these little cheap quarter inch sets from harbor freight gives you all different size sockets american and metric works great very inexpensive and you can have this along with your wrenches as well as if you want to get nut drivers as well to add now one of the next tools that i recommend you guys getting is a digital caliper you can pick them up from multiple different places they are a very good tool and it is very essential to when you are making your linkages and all that stuff into millimeters that you have an exact measurement so definitely highly recommend picking up a digital caliper and a few extra batteries for your caliper now, another great thing to have is feathering shaft wrenches so these are one-way bearings into a nice handle Links makes them, Align makes them, they're different sizes. This is 10 millimeter, eight millimeter, 700, 600. And then of course, 450 size is four millimeter, 500 size is six millimeters. Now this is older school sizing. The new models are bigger shafts and stuff now, but great tools to have on hand because you slide your feathering shaft into there when you have those hard to get nuts or bolts off the other end, slide it in you can heat them up break them loose so i highly recommend picking up some feathering shaft wrenches for the sizes that you need Along with the feathering shaft wrenches i highly recommend picking up a good set of ball link pliers these by links are the best pliers i have tried they're slop free ball bearing in them very good they grip nicely you can pop your links off and on with them as well as sets like this have a spot for the older feathering shafts that you could grip down on, break them loose. So these are also a good set too, very old. I don't even remember who makes them, but get yourself a set of ball link pliers. Another important thing that I would recommend you picking up for your specific size helicopter, swash plate levelers. Now I have multiple different styles here, aluminum ones, 3D printed ones. If you have access or own a 3D printer, there's tons of files out there. You can print different size swash plate levelers this works really good. And then if you're running SAB or a line, they make different sizes. This is a 10 millimeter 
for a, a line helicopter, any 700 size that has a 10 millimeter shaft. This is a SAB 700 size. I really like these because you don't have to pull the main or the head block out. Like with this style, you have to pull the head off, slide it down. With this style here, it's got a little magnet in it. You lift the swash plate up, slide it under, and no need to disassemble your head. And again, another SAB 380 size swash plate leveler. Highly recommend picking up swash plate leveler for the size of your model. Another thing you're going to need, of course, is Phillips and regular screwdrivers. So you will need a variety of screwdrivers. I've got a ton. This isn't all my screwdrivers, just what I'm showing. So you're going to need a bigger Phillips, like a number two. You'll need a number one Phillips. Also a triple zero Phillips is great to have. Uh, Harbor Freight has these really cheap sets of screwdrivers. You can get free a lot of the times, which is what all these are when you purchase stuff with little coupons. So I recommend going to Harbor Freight, getting yourself some of these free screwdrivers, Phillips and regular flathead they work great and just get yourself a variety of them a great tool to have which come with a lot of kits a line comes with their own sab comes with their own is your ball link wrenches so you can put your ball link end in there and it saves you from tearing your fingers up and again a line has their own style sab has their own style i have a box full of both of these so these are great to have keep from your kit and save them for future builds or maintenance. We're going to go over some of the different sizes and styles of pliers, side bites, sharp wire cutters. So you're going to need, of course, a good set of side bites, a lot of dike, side cutters, whatever you want to call them. Get a good set of side bites and you're going to need a good set of needle nose as well as a pair of channel locks if you need them, but these are very good to have a good setup. The next thing is get yourself a set and don't drop them, but get yourself a set of these very thin wire cutters these work great for cutting servo wires, zip ties, stripping wires, awesome little things to have. You get a pack of five of them for cheap on Amazon. And then get yourself a little set. These are very old. You can see they're broken, been well used, 10 plus years old. Little set of needle nose and a little set of, I guess, pen needle nose and regular needle nose. Get yourself a little set of these. They work great for little stuff. Vice grips. It's always good to have yourself a couple different style vice grips. I have pretty much every style vice grip there is from big ones to small ones to needle nose vice grips. Just get yourself a couple different vice grips and these long pickers. These are really good. They look like chopsticks. Really good to reach down, pull wires through, tail belts out of the boom and so on. So get yourself a set of these different well. style knives that I personally use. Exacto knives, of course. These are the most handy thing that you can have need exacto knives a box of blades to go with them i have probably 10 or 15 of these and having a box cutter is good too because you can cut bigger things run lines whatever you need to do with that cut heat shrink so get yourself some box cutter exacto knife anything with sharp little knives like this don't always use them but they're good to have very important thing to have is a ruler you want a 12 inch and 36 inch you really don't need 36 inch though for working on helicopters i just have one you want the American side inches and millimeter side this is, comes in very handy when you are measuring ball links if you don't have a caliper or if you are measuring distance on your skid to the end of your skids to your skid caps so get yourself a nice ruler wire strippers and wire crimpers strippers and crimpers so if you're going to do any kind of soldering wiring work anything like that where you're going to be cutting your wire shortening crimping ends get yourself a good pair of crimpers i'm not saying these are the best crimpers but they have been very good and the best ones i have tried again amazon as well as get yourself a good pair of wire strippers these work really well as well as crimpers for other things but you need a good set of strippers and a good set of crimpers scissors very nice to have a variety of different scissors if you're anything like me I'm very weird and I like to have a set of scissors for different stuff like if I'm cutting fiberglass I have my glass scissors these are my general purpose scissors that I cut everything with and these are my vinyl monocoat style scissors mainly for airplanes but do use them on helicopters as well get yourself a good pair of scissors these have been the best scissors I've ever tried very good stay sharp and not messed up so get yourself a little couple maybe one pair of scissors You're going to need a drill and drill bits now you can get a harbor freight drill any relatively cheap drill it doesn't matter but get yourself a drill get yourself a set of cheap harbor freight drill bits you are going to use them and you are going to need them different sizes i've broken many bits this set has been old used and abused it's still working great and of course any drill of your liking go ahead drill and drill bits you will need Another them. very nice tool to have is a Dremel. Very nice to have with sanding drums, cutoff wheels, any kind of little Dremel attachment you may think you need. 
it makes working on stuff, cutting shafts, screws, anything like that, very nice. So I highly recommend picking up Another a drill. very important and helpful tool to have is a heat gun. This Harbor Freight heat gun has been very nice to me, very well. It gets super hot and it works great for doing things like heat shrink, taking off double-sided tape, anything like that. Heat gun, definitely need And of course, you need a soldering iron station. I use a HECO. You're gonna need a soldering iron. You need solder, resin, all the stuff you need for soldering because you will solder. In this hobby, you will solder. It is also good to get yourself a bunch of spare tips to your liking. I like the small chisel tip different kinds of ideas and tips out there. Great tool to have is a servo tester center. If you're running torque servos, you have the torque box, which will allow you to set frequency. It'll allow you to center your servo, test your servos. If you're running KST, I believe they make one for that. And I believe a couple other brands have a servo center, but definitely get yourself a servo tester or servo centering box. Now, another important stuff that you need to have is Loctite. You can either use Loctite 243. I like 243 over 242 because it is more chemical resistant. 243 Loctite. Or another Loctite I really, really like is the SAB Threadlocker Blue. This is what I use on all my builds. Also, you're going to need retaining compound, SAB retaining compound. Of course, you will need some medium CA. I'm a Bob Smith person. You can use whichever brand medium CA that you like. And then epoxy. I like 30 minute Bob Smith epoxy. You can use JB Weld, anything like that. But for doing tail push rods and such, you need 30 minute epoxy. And of course, good old fa famous fabric paint. So this is the stuff I use on all the ESC or FBL wires, anything like that. So you'll need a variety of different glues and Loctites. And of course, a variety of greases. So I like this three-in-one silicone oil. This works great on all your rubber like O-rings for your canopies and all that kind of stuff. Works really good. Microlube GL261, hands down my favorite, favorite grease to use on everything. Head dampeners, shabs, bearings, all of it. Really like this stuff as well as transmission modular grease. Now, this is really only for SAB models, but if you have an SAB, you don't use much of this, but it's good to get yourself a little tube. And one-way bearing grease. This works for all helicopters. So if you have yourself any helicopter, get yourself some one-way bearing grease and it will prolong the life of your one-way bearing. There you guys go. I hope that has answered a few of your questions about what you need, what tools you need, greases and everything like that. I am sure I left out a few things. I can almost guarantee you that I did. But I'm sorry if I did, but I hope that answered some of your guys' questions. So again, PayPal and Patreon are in the description below if you would like to help support me. Thank you to every person that has joined Patreon or that has donated through PayPal. I greatly appreciate it. You help fund these projects. So if you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and have a great day.